Welcome to Adventures in 3D Printing. So I wanted to create a 3D image of the kids and to do that I'm going to use Autodesk 123D Catch to try and create a 3D image. I'm going to try first on an old teddy bear I have. Um, you, you get your photos together and you upload them and then the software will um, try to knit those photos together to create a 3D image. And let's have a little look and see how well it does on a little trial for a teddy bear. So it takes a little while to do and upload and then it, um, as I say, knits those together and then it gives you an image. So this is the result. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit ropey. There's lots of holes and it's not really great. It's certainly not what I'm hoping for. So um, uh, the software does, the software needs to have reference points in order to knit the photos together. And you can see that is poorly knit them together in a number of places. So, okay. Poor result first time, but I need to try again with more reference points available in the photos. So here's my second attempt. This time I put a hoop at the top and the bottom of the image, uh, my daughter Verity, um, and on the hoops I've got stickers with crosses on. This is to provide reference points for the photos to be knit together. And here's the result. So um, it's not bad, I think it's done better than last time, but fundamentally, um, it's not really quite good enough. Um, if you look at the resolution of the 3D object underneath the photos, it really isn't uh, good enough resolution. If we look at the side profile of the face, you can see there's not enough detail in there for a 3D image to really be worthwhile. So, um, good effort, but in conclusion, um, creating, a, creating a 3D image from photos is not good enough for capturing people. So what about using a scanner? Um, there are various scanners available. Um, they're a little bit pricey, but I want to see if I can get my hands on something like this in order to create a 3D model. Let's see how I do. Thank you for listening.